Well, today we're going out with Larry Thomas. Larry's an old friend of mine, known him ever since he started fishing bass tournaments. He lives in Wilmington, and he's agreed to take a little time off and take me and my friend out on Northeast Cape Fear. It's one of the prettiest rivers you'll ever see. Black water, just everything. Fish right, started off pretty good. Bye, bye. The key to fishing this river is fishing the correct tide. And uh, only thing that would hit. This is Danny Conway here. He's a friend of mine. He went along and teach him how to use a camera a little bit, but he decided to get in on a fishing right. action. Larry's fishing a buzz bait right now. I think he's fishing a bang lure, a little, bit little jerk top water jerk bait. He hooks up with a bass here. A it's a beautiful day, morning. It was kind of clear, but it was a real nice day to be out. A little hot, like it always is. The fishing this river, like all yep. rivers in East North Carolina, have to be 14 inches or better. The minimum size is 14 inches. Hopefully, this will improve the fishing. That's the goal, anyway. It wants to hide, don't it? Yep, get under the boat. There he is. Finally cotched him. Finally cotched him. Would that be a keeper or be close, wouldn't it? Be close. I... He wasn't coming off for a change. Got plenty of cicadas out there squawking at us. We figured this was a keeper. Not a big keeper, a 14 incher. And he fell for the bang lure. One pound two. You got a lily pad? I got a fish and a lily pad. But the fish ain't as big as I thought he was. He was on the lily pad. See? like this is the size fish. Was. That's a bass, but he's not too big. Of course, I guess that's better than no fish at all. It'd be perfect if you had about a 20-gallon tank at home. Old Japanese proverb. Anything better than zero. You said we were black, this would be in the pool. Place is full of small fish. Looks like he first cast. Yeah. Obviously they're here for whatever reason. Larry hooks up with another small one. That one was real small. Switched over now to the buzz bait. A lot of lily pads in the river. A lot of lily pads. Show on special. And buzz baits are real good for fishing lily pads. Cover a lot of water, but it comes through the lily pads. Uh, and on this river with a tide, you got a tide that's about almost two foot high difference in the tide here. This is a lunar tide, not a wind tide. And you got to catch the water falling. Is what the guys say. What Larry says, the best is when the water is falling. Basically, pulling stuff out of the woods yeah. and the, the low grounds, and then the fish are waiting out on the edge there to catch some minnows or catch some uh, crawfish or whatever comes out in there. Larry's got a nice little bass here. That's the body keeper, isn't it? Thought he had a blackfish. Playing him around the boat. That's what it felt like. And that's what I thought yours was, see? Right. I still think that was bad. This was one of his secret spots. He's got him. He got it on then. Yeah. yeah, there's a blackfish too. Stand up. Stay on it. He's hooked up with another one. Cypress trap. Uh oh. Mud shark. He's definitely 14 inches. There he is, a mud shark. 
Northeast Cape Fear Summertime Bass. There's a two different species down here. This is a, this is a dangerous we call them cypress trout. <laughs> Actually, what it is is a uh, bowfin or a blackfish, depending on which way you want. We only fished three or four hours this, this on this particular morning, but we had a good day. Hate these slimy things. He'd be blind in that eye. Okay, now we're going to get ready for the awards. We're going to be giving the checks out to the winners today, so stay tuned.